video in a few weeks. Uh, it's been about a month, so back up uh, at it, and I wanted to create a wonderful s review. It's six years in the making, six to eight years. I don't remember exactly when I got these, but we're talking about, of course, the Bowen Wilkins 604s and the 602s, which I bought in Buffalo, New York, um, for around $900, I believe I bought it. Um, and now I'm going to be selling them for a slight profit, uh, which is nice. It, they will cover the inflation mostly that of the investment. But since I had bought these, um, you know, they, they were about three generations behind. Um, they had already seen the maximum deflation and uh, I haven't seen the prices go down. In fact, they've gone up on these speakers. Um, over the past six years, which is another reason I just suggest always buying used speakers. The depreciation on the latest and greatest is very drastic. And honestly, there's such a small benefit from the speakers of today and the newest technologies. Uh, speakers 20 years ago are still amazing, as well as even 30 years ago and 40 years ago. Um, the technology just hasn't changed that much. A few new materials and things like that, which is why one of the reasons I recommend these Bauer and Wilkins speakers so much. Um, they have that Kevlar driver. Uh, let's take off the front speaker. And this is a major reason why I suggest using them. Um, the Kevlar is tough, of course. It's one of the hardest materials, but perfect used. It's used in bulletproof vests uh, to stop bullets. Uh, of course, don't try to stop your st bullet with these v these speakers. You need the over 30 layers of Kevlar, and I believe this only has one layer. So don't shoot at your speakers. I've heard people trying that, and... They just ended up with a bullet in their speaker. <laughs> but anyways, we got the Kevlar speaker. Stop laughing. I'm sorry, you can't. Don't shoot your speakers. That's that's very no. important. No. Um, you got the the camera camera woman is laughing. You got the the silver dome tweeter of this third series. You also see these in the second series. Uh, with a silver covering. This first series has the bronze covering and that's how you usually can identify them. This color, it, they look identical, but this is bronze in color. And then, then you got the aluminum base driver. And since these are the 604s, these are two power drivers with a port on the bottom. And the, the series three has the aluminum uh, base driver. The Series 2 has a paper cone and same with a Series 1. Um, so if you want to see the, if you want to be able to tell the difference between them, you can tell by this and this, or you could tell by the color of this little cone in here, the diffuser inside the center speaker. In the Series 2, this is black. In the Series 1, it is missing. There is no diffuser. Um, but as you can see, these are the Series 3. Again, I said I had these for about six to eight years. I bought them a while ago in Buffalo, New York from a man. I got a really good deal on them, and that's one of the reasons I went and bought them. At the time, I had the Series 1s and the Series 2s, and I had the 803s, not the 804s. But I had the Series 3 center channel, so I wanted to upgrade to the Series 3. I saw these come up on, uh, 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 on, I think it was Craigslist, and I ran down to Buffalo, picked them up right away, sold the others, and made a few hundred dollars in the deal. Um, because the Series 3s, having two sets of them, was slightly, uh, I could get a little bit more money than these for them. Which, another fun story, I, when I sent the Series 3, I sold them on eBay. Um, and we, I took them down to the UPS store and had them package it. Uh, and little did I know, I didn't find out until a little later, uh, they arrived damaged. And because I had the UPS store package them all up and ship them and everything, 
Uh, it was 100% covered by the insurance of the day. And I got my money and so did the buyer. Uh, plus he had a damaged speaker when he was done, which I'm sure he sold the parts to. Uh, so if you're going to be shipping it, make sure you buy insurance. And I do suggest going to the UPS store because then they can't claim you didn't package it right. Um, but they do get damaged in shipping and many people will not ship these used. So you may have to drive a little bit like I did to go get them in Buffalo. Uh, when I got them, I got the 604s for the fronts and the 602s in the back with the Don Wilkins stands. The 602s are another great speaker. A little better for smaller rooms. Doesn't have the bass driver. So it doesn't go quite as deep. Uh, but with a subwoofer, uh, this won't be a problem. And I kind of suggest the subwoofer anyways, because the subwoofer does work better, especially in home theater environments. And you could, even if you want to buy two subwoofers, you could place them around the room in the better spot for the bass, uh, which isn't always the best spot for the mid ranges and the highs. So using a speaker and a subwoofer, a separate subwoofer is recommended generally. Uh, but you could get away with it, really, with this. Um, it has a ton of bass. It will drop all the way down low. I mean, these are woofers that will drop really low. But again, um, I do like this, the added subwoofer, especially when I want to shake things. Uh, you put 1812 overture on this, and the speaker is... Um, it comes to life, but it doesn't really thump um, when the cannons go off. And I'm typically used to using subwoofers. So when the cannons go off in an 1812 overture, you, what I'm used to experiencing is the big shake, you know, that the neighbors could hear. That's not to say these can't handle them. Um, I have a 200 watt uh, mono, mono uh, price amplifier, solid state mono price seven amplifier. It's a class A B amplifier for these. And I have them hooked up to these things. And when I turn up the dot volume, they get loud. In my old house that I used to rent, uh, I turned them up one time. I left the room, went through the kitchen and out in the backyard. And we were listening to the music as if it was extremely loud at the time and i had to even push them to their max i was only about 50 percent on the uh, total power out handling of these or the amp um, and it was so loud that it would definitely damage your hearing um, if you were in the same room with it and even us being in the backyard we could tell it was too yard too loud um, even then. So these things will shake and make a lot of noise. Um, and they're very, very impressive at, at full volume. Not that I play with it very often at that. Um, we were testing them out for the first time in the new amp for the first time. And it was just so much fun. Um, we were playing uh, some foot bag out there and really enjoying them. Um, then we got these... Uh, like I said, with the Bowen Wilkins uh, 602s, I do like the stand because as you can see, it keeps them all the same height, which happens to be around the height of the listener when they're seated in my room. So they come out very good. I don't need any additional stands for these. Uh, the stands typically sell for about 200 euros. For Bowen Wilkins, you can sell anything that's Bowen Wilkins. Do not throw away Bowen Wilkins stuff. Um, some of the products don't sell as well, of course. Some of their smaller speakers, their computer speakers, their powered tiny monitors, they don't generally sell as much, but um, they're still very popular and they will sell. So if you have any stuff, don't throw them away. The stand, like I said, sells about 200. These sell for between 300 and 500 dollars, depending on the condition. These sell between 700 and 1,000 dollars, depending on the condition. Um, sometimes you could find them for 600 if you get a really good deal. 
Um, and as always with speakers, you can make money if you, you, you really look for the good deals. There's a lot of people looking for the good deals, so you have to be on top of it, look at the ads regularly, and the competition is pretty fierce. But when you find something, you definitely can make a few bucks and enjoy it for a while, which is always nice in the used market. Uh, contrarily, in the new market, you buy a new speaker, and the moment you take it out of the box, it loses $200. Um, so you're never going to regain that value. Maybe in 100 years, the inflation will finally catch up. Um, but it's just not the same deal. Um, so I do recommend these as a great, great, great solution for most of you guys in home entertainment systems and musically. The only reason I'm selling these now is because I've had these, like I said, for six to eight years. I'm in a better market and I could trade speakers to make these videos for you guys. And so I ended up getting the 802 that you see behind it. And I made a separate video for that if you wanna check out my channel comparing the two. So I do recommend that you compare this with a, I compared it with the 804, which is over there, but the 802 is an amazing speaker as well. Um, both are very comparable. That one was based, this one was based off of that one. So you get the same type of characteristics from the speaker and from the sound. Uh, it's just that this is a little newer and a few models lower. So it doesn't have the separate de bass and the tweeters. And with that, I think I covered everything. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my channel. Please like and subscribe as always, if you're still with me. Um, and I will try to make more of these as I come across new gear. We just bought a bunch of new speakers coming in. And so we want to make more videos on them as we go forward and really enjoy these. Uh, so I appreciate it. And you guys have a great day. Um, and like I said, like my video.